Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Elder R. L. Dunlap Jr. Coming up to you with the only infallible, uncompromising, unadulterated written word of God. We greet you from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father according to the scripture. We greet you all today. Today we want to talk about a very familiar subject. Very familiar. Amen. Why am I head out of here? Very familiar subject. A very familiar subject is the church relevant in the world today? Is the church relevant in the world today? That question has been asked for a number of years now. The church needs to be relevant with the change in times. The church needs to be relevant. So is the church relevant? Pe pe people are leaving the church in droves. So the church needs to be relevant to bring the people back to the church. The millennials. How, how you minister to the millennials? You, you don't. They say you don't change. The, the gospel don't change, but the method change. Where is found in the Bible? Where is that found? You got to change your method. I want somebody to give me that scripture and show me where the Bible said you got to change the church, got to change its method. Show it to me. You ain't going to find it. It's not in there. The words stay the same, but you got to change the method to reach the people. The gospel is always relevant. That's right. The message of salvation remains unchanged. What's the gospel? The gospel is simply this. In order to be saved. And you go to John 3.16 and Mark 16.15 and Romans 1 and 16 and Mark 1 and 15 and Mark 2 and 17 and all throughout, go, go from Matthew to Acts and see what Jesus said. The gospel is salvation through Jesus Christ. Obey Jesus Christ. Believe Jesus Christ to take away your sin. You want to go to heaven when you die. You don't want to go to hell. And God don't want you to go to hell. But in order not to go, in order to be saved, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to take away your sin, cleanse you from sin, give you His Spirit, change your nature, have the spiritual nature, be filled with the Holy Ghost, keep His commandments, obey Him, do His will, Live free. Live free from sin. The way he told you to live. Go and sin no more. 
the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's why God sent Jesus to save you from your sin. To take away your sin. To cleanse you from sin. That's why God sent Jesus. You know, Satan got kicked out of heaven because of sin. So you think you're going to heaven with sin? But God sent Jesus Christ his son to save you from sin. And he told you to repent. Turn from your sin that's going to keep you out of heaven. Turn from that and turn to him. Believe him to wash your sin away. The law couldn't do it. But Jesus takes away your sin. The Son of God. Plus much more. But the basics. God, I wouldn't that is your prayer, but they also come to repentance. You believe Jesus, so you won't be damned. Believe me, do whatever he say do. <laughs> believe whatever he said. Uh, and follow him. Follow. The church is always ready. Jesus, hold on. Jesus' church is always ready. You got to understand the purpose of Jesus' church is to save you from your sin. To get you ready to go back with him when he comes and be saved and not go to hell but go to heaven have eternal life with him not burn in hell that's not his will but he's the only one that and he is the only one Jesus ain't no many ways to heaven Jesus Christ is the only way Is the church relevant? You know, ignorant people ask that question. Ignorant, educated fool. They even have panels, panel discussion. And they never have a real preacher on the panels. You know when they have their panels? They never have a real preacher on that. Am I right? That's right. Yeah, that's what he wants. Hebrew 13 and 8. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus church. Is him. Christ is the head of his church. We are the body of Christ, but Christ is the head. The church is not a building. Is the church relevant? Now, let me, a lot of you young folks, I don't know, Sister Lisa, I don't, you may be too young, you may not know. But I remember, among us, when the churches it started back in the early 80s, When they start compromising with the world. Yes, right. I am the Lord, I change not. <laughs> Malachi 3C. They start compromising with the world, Sister Lisa. You don't know this, but it is starting with the music. I'm talking about holy churches now. Such as that holy. That's what I'm talking. I'm not talking about the other churches that that bow their head and raise their hand and accept Christ and do whatever they want. I ain't talk, I'm talking about churches that's supposed to be holy. It 
it started with the music. I remember it like it was yesterday. When the holy folk, some of the holy singers, went on Soul Train. And start going to the clubs. Oh, I'm gonna tell it. I'm gonna tell it. I'm gonna tell it. Into my recollection, it started with uh, Edwin Hawkins. Oh, happy day. Yeah. Yeah. We sing Oh Happy Day and we say, Would Jesus walk us in the way? That was song in the clubs. And folk dancing to dancing and twisting. With their bell bottoms on and stacks it. Yeah. 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 That was song in the club. That was on Soul Train. And don't, and don't let me start with Walter Hawking. In the love center choir. That when you got get, uh, you start getting a, a it wasn't on a big scale, but you start getting in, 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 inclusive. And what's the what, what what's the What's the, what's the sister's name? Uh, uh, well, the famous drag queen. People would have a funeral at their church. Walter Hawkins, Sylvester. That's it, Sylvester. Sylvester. I, I, <laughs> I, I started playing a song, but that's all, I, I ain't going to get sued today. <laughs> Sylvester, you make me real, oh, real. Then you had a uh, Tremaine Hall. See, see, this, this, this stuff didn't start with no Kurt Franklin. This, this didn't start with Kurt Franklin. Uh huh. Yeah. Tremaine Hawkins song. The song out there, out there she had a video. And it was, they say, it, this is R&B. And the church, and the church told her tail up. See, I'm giving you some history here. A lot of y'all young folks don't know. Al Green. I don't care what y'all said. I believe if, if you ever listen to Al Green testimony, if have you ever listened to his testimony, I believe Al Green was saved for real. And he may be not, I don't know. I believe Al Green got saved for real. I believe it. He stopped singing those songs. Listen to his testimony. I believe he got saved for real. Then what he would do, he would put Jesus, he, he would substitute Jesus in his song. Love is happy there. Love will make it do right. Oh, make it do right. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm 
did uh, he was he was like y'all don't Maddie Moss Clark and the Clark sisters. They was on the Grammy Awards. In I think in 1980 or 82. And they came prancing down the aisle in a jazz style. And the bishops in the church of God in Christ silenced Maddie Moss Clark. For going on them gamuts, Aurora doing what she was doing, they silenced her. I'm not. I'm not telling the. This is public knowledge. I'm talking. I'm not talking about nothing. Don't buy it. No, it's public. Hey, if you see Dorinda, ask her. Look at it out there. Look at her song on Clark sister. Then you had a. Uh, B.B. and C.C. Wine. They signed a contract and then a contract they said, the contract said you cannot mention the name of Jesus. And B.B. and C.C. Wine signed the contract. And a lot of other preachers. They said B.B. and C.C. Backslid. How you gonna sign a contract say you can't use the name of Jesus? And you both be saying, now, now most, all, most all these singers you know, most all of them come from church God and cry. Then you had some going in clubs singing. Well, they say, well, how are you gonna reach the people? How are you gonna reach the people? Okay. Are you preaching in the club? Or are you singing? You in the club singing God be for twisting and turning and slow drag. Oh, they were way before Kurt Franklin. Kurt Franklin didn't start that. Way before Nicki Minaj. Yeah, what they good? Uh, the good that did the regular Nicki Minaj. Minaj still showing her tail. Did you preach to Nicki Minaj? Now whether you did or not, you know and God know, I don't know. Well, we gotta reach the folk. Ain't nobody getting saved through no singing. Ain't nobody getting saved through, I, 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 I know years ago they said, well, they, they go singing them songs and hallelujah, the, 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 the Devil driving song. Yeah, they used to sing them song. That would fold the devil for respected the church. It it just cost somebody saying God then they think know they preach. They ain't preaching nothing. They ain't preaching nothing. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I saw the preacher's wife. I saw the movie, the preacher's wife. I sure did. And, and let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, movie star song. You say it's certain roles you can't take. It's certain roles you can't take. You can't be betraying certain things. You're a movie star. Woman, you can't take off your clothes and do a nude scene. Man, you can't take off yours and do a nude scene or a sex scene. You can't be smoking dope in the movie. Uh-oh. That really, oh, 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 holiness is still right. How you, how you preach is holy, but portraying something else. That's enough other saying.
being relevant to draw the young people. I remember, I remember Carmen. He got on TV and he go say he got mad and left the tent because the, the pastor told him to take his hat off in the tent. He gonna make a big deal out of it. You take your hat off in the courtroom, don't you? No, it ain't no sin to wear a hat for me to wear hats in the church. I ain't say it wasn't sin. But you don't get mad at that. They told me to take my hat off. And I didn't want to take it off. So I left. Or got put out. I got which one it was. BET used to have something on. Uh, can't tell you it's not on now, but. Their program, they want they want everybody to be saved. They had <laughs> relevant. They had a uh, flavor flavor on one time. Well, what about Jesus? Jesus is my dude. Jesus is my dog. Jesus, Jesus is my homie. What disrespect? They they want they want the world to be saved. What about Jesus? Oh, I believe in Jesus. Oh, I, I, I believe in Jesus. I was at a low point in, 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 in my life and could nobody get me out of it but Jesus. Well, you right about that. Want, it, want the world to be saved. Of course we want the world. Yeah, we want the world to be saved. Jesus wants the world to be saved. But if you be saved, you're going to have to hear the gospel. You're going to have to repent of your sin. From the White House all the way down to the homeless. You got to repent of your sins, you won't be saved. No, we don't. well, we 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 minister to the total man. We minister to the total man. Jesus ministered to the total man too. But Jesus came for your soul. Jesus came that your soul be saved. Jesus even said, don't even worry about what you're going to eat. Matthew 6, 33 and, and before. Don't worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to put on. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things are going to be added. And my God shall supply all your needs. Oh, they gonna, you ain't got to worry about that. He's going to supply that. But you make sure your soul right. But what do it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Well, we got to do stuff to, to draw the young folks in. We need cheering church. I have no problem with cheering church. Long as children being be, is being taught the word of God, I have a problem with that. Long as they being taught the word of God, the millennials, hey, hey, ain't no hip hop to it. I mean, I. I remember one time in our church, <clears throat> one uh, one sad night they had a choir musical or something though. You, you know the devils follow musicals. And this choir saw the song. I mean, they were they were getting to in the, the in, in, in the little, in the little old, the, 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 the little old boy singing the song. I mean, he got he got in some kind of spirit and. My, my God, he pulled his shirt off and went to doing the monkey. My pastor, and I know he don't mind me saying this, the pastor of a temple church, God Christ. He stopped the music. He said, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. He said, stop the music. He said, young man, put your shirt on. Put your shirt back on. 
and the young man wrote him a nasty letter. He didn't have the right spirit. No, everything don't go on among God, folks. Everything is not sanctioned by God. You can't do everything you want to do in God's house. How can the church be relevant? Well, I, I remember somebody put on put on a uh, uh, the church of God Christ gonna have us want to have a symposium. How can the church deal with the homosexual marriage and the transgender issue? Let's have a symposium about that. And I posted on the post. I say, you don't need no symposium. It's already in the Bible how to deal. You ain't got to come together and discuss nothing. It's already in the Bible how to deal with that. They ought to come in and sat down. They won't come sound and learn and get on the altar. No, no, no abomination. No abomination be going on in God's house of where amongst us and we know it. Just like they were wrong for the man had his father wife and he puffed up. Cause he had the father wife and he made it known that his father wife was his woman. He made it known he was in the church. There wasn't no secret thing. Paul Paul put him out. He don't want to repent, do right, put it out. No, abomination is not, just like false prophets not supposed to be operating among us, abominations is not supposed to be operating among us. No two men got no being coming in your church. Hugged up a couple, they, they went to come and sit down. Don't you be don't you be hugged up in the in, in the assembly of the righteous, and you let that go on. No, no, a, a transvestite or a cross dresser, a man dressed like a in drag, or a woman. No, they can't commit the abomination among the saints. You come in, yeah, oh, uh, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. This is the congregation of the righteous. We respect God, we fear God. Yes, when you come here, yes. Put on some men's clothes. Yes. Yes, I said it. You don't commit abomination in, in, in the in the congregation of the right. You don't commit a, you commit abomination. Say, oh, they ain't hurt nobody. They commit abomination. They commit abomination. It is done in the open and everybody see it. And you ain't saying nothing about it. How you, the church needs to be relevant. How they deal with, the, with that. Here's how they deal with it. Put something one from among you. You don't want to do right? Yeah, the door. Yeah, the door. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. Okay. Don't, don't fellowship with them. Judge is not my God, they 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 they, they try to get the government money. You know the government give money to church is not. It started back with Bush. The faith-based money. They get the government money. What did you tell the government? Are you giving them the gospel? Are you? I said, I ain't talking about, have you said, you got your brother to save you? J 
just like every president when they get ready to roll. Are you Christian? I'm Christian. <laughs> and they are not, not a one. Yeah, I said it. I said not a one. Because if you're Christian, certain legislation, I don't care if Congress do pass it, certain legislation you ain't going to sign. You going to do that which is right. Huh? Let me, let me, let me. Let. Well, y'all lost y'all mind with Obama started the gay marriage. Number one, you need to get your facts straight. That started on the Clinton. That started on the Clinton on the Clinton. And they took pride of the school. Republican did that. Read the records. Well, you a homosexual? Wait a minute, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. No. The Republicans is too. How can you say it, Dunlap? They haven't brought no bill to repeal it, have they? I'll wait. I'll wait. Where, where the bill is to repeal it? I say, I say, where's the bill at? Where's the bill at to put, to put pride back in school? Where the bill that to overturn, to overturn that that happened in '60 with uh, Madeline O'Hare, you know, so far you're too young, nobody did. Where the bill at to put pride back in school? Where is it at? How come you ain't seen that bill to the Supreme Court? See that? God church, Jesus church don't change to get the movie stars in and, and the doctors and the lawyers and the, and the big money folks. You know you ain't telling nothing no big money folks. You ain't telling nothing no multi-millionaire. You ain't preaching nothing. You ain't preaching nothing. Do, do you tell don't see on the income tax? Do, do you tell them to help the poor? Uh -huh. Yeah, it, 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 let me say, let me say, let me, it, it, watch it, watch it, watch it, yeah. And it is against the, it's a get, you can't make nobody pray. You can't make nobody pray. You can't make nobody pray to somebody against their will. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. And I, and I know it's going to rub some of y'all deep folks the wrong way. You can't force nobody to live holy. You can't force nobody to believe what you believe. You cannot force them. Watch it. Even with prayer. You can't force nobody to pray against their weed. You cannot do that. If they don't want to put pledge leading to the flag, if they don't want to read the Bible verse, if they don't want to pray, you can't force them. And if you try to force them, guess what? You wrong. You wrong. Yeah, you can tell them, but you, you can't force nobody to do that. If you do, you wrong. I say you're wrong. It's whosoever will. Jesus never forced nobody. Uh -huh. Church be really, how can the church, is the church really in today's society? You got to change your methods. That's not in the Bible nowhere. Change methods. The word is holy. God is holy. Jesus is holy. The scripture is holy. You preach holy. You pray holy, you teach holy, 
Your method is holy. Your method. We, you ain't got to bring, you ain't, you ain't got to bring no communion to the church. You don't have to bring no. You ain't got to, you, you, and I heard Bishop Wilson did say, say that. You ain't got to bring no communion up in no church to tell no jokes. What kind of mess is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me say, and prayer is in the heart. Prayer in the heart. Prayer is in your heart. Can't nobody stop you praying. Prayer is in your heart. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where we need to draw the young folks in. So let's bring a comedian. Let's bring Chris Rock in to tell jokes. Not Chris Rock, uh, Chris Tuck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I know Chris Tucker's people right here in Memphis. I'm not I'm not gonna call her name. I know her. She's a beautician. I know her. And she had a talk with Chris Tucker. <laughs> and told Chris Tucker, stop all that cussing. Right here in Memphis. I'm not going to call her name. I ain't going to tell you where, where her beauty shop at. It's small fire. And holy hip hop. A gospel rap. They ain't listening to your message. You rap, they ain't listen to your message. They listen to the beat. And they get down. <laughs> get down, get down. <laughs> ain't, ain't, the method is holy. They got to change no method to get nobody in. If they going to be saved, they going to hear the same word that have not changed. Jesus said, upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. If they have not. If Jesus, if Jesus ain't going to change not one thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here, G, see, see, a lot of y'all know what G, a lot of y'all think G is church. It's y'all church. Let, let, let. Go to Ephesians 5. Hallelujah. Let's show you G is church. G church ain't your building. A lot of people say, well, folks don't come to church on Sunday morning, but they be at the ball game. Have the ball game filled up. Yeah, and there's some saints at the ball game. They did go to church Sunday morning. It's some saints at the ball game. Am I right? Am I right? Now let me say this. I understand people in error. Some be in error. The professional comedian depend on the content that he he may be saying. He may be depend on the content. If if you're a comedian, it, it's 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 certain zones you can't tell. It's certain zones you can't tell. What what, what about clean comedy? Look, here Jesus says. Ephesians 5. Hallelujah. Holy to God. But Jesus said, you know, you know, uh -huh, uh -huh. let me show you what Jesus said. Who love your wife? 
525. Hub love your wife Christ all the little church gave himself for it that he might sanctify it. The church sanctify. Cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. The church is clean by the word of God. They obey every word of God. That he might present a glorious church, not having spot, wrinkle, or any such thing, that it should be holy without blemish. Christ church without blemish. Now we are the body of Christ, not so building, not so institution. It, it. I believe it's our comedian saying. Yeah, I do. I believe. I believe it's our comedian saying. <laughs> if football players save it, basketball players save it. Church is holy. Christ, Christ Church, follow Christ and live the way He say live. Christ Church is not living in sin at all. Well, I fail. Get up. What you land there for? Get up. Ride up and walk. It don't go it don't go back no more. Huh? Christ Christ don't Christ Church is really is for the saving of your soul. And if anybody gonna be saved, they gonna hear the gospel. No, you ain't gonna hear no saying 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 nothing. You gonna hear the gospel. Hear the gospel preached without compromise. You got to repent of your sin. You ain't going to heaven in your sin. You're going to hell, the lake of fire and brimstone. Now you better repent. It's not God willing, it is repent, but they also come to repentance. Christ's church is still relevant. And the purpose of Christ, get, get me, uh, Timothy, Timothy 3.16, Timothy 3.16, let me show you Christ church in action, in action, in Christ people, see, you, you, people be, people try to draw people to the building, but what about people going to the kingdom? Jesus says, since John, the gospel is preached and men are pressed into the kingdom. Not your building. Well, I want a mega ministry. No, you want to be a false prophet. That's what you want to be. All I got is 50 members. I want 5,000. Are you feeding the 50? The fifth, the fifth is important. Why you want five thousand? You already preaching the five thousand. Are your TV? Are your radio? Are your Facebook? Are your YouTube? You already preaching the five thousand or more. He. he he in Christ church. It is still relevant today. Uh, Timothy 319. Uh, 219, I'm sorry. Second Timothy. Never let the foundation of God stand this year. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are here. Let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. My uh, God, we we, uh, we 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 preach that. And a play my God. God, it was it was up, bro. Oh, we need to get out of here. I didn't sign up for this. Let's go to the other church down the hall where they singing him. You got we gotta tell you the truth. Wait a minute. Let's see Christ Church in action. Stay in Timothy and go to yeah. First Timothy. I'm 
sorry, 2 Timothy 3, 16. Let's see Christ yet. Let's see Christ yet. And a message from Christ yet. That is still relevant today. If you want to be saved, or do you want to come and join the social club? Then what these churches is ain't nothing but a social club. Second Timothy three sixteen. All where we 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 build back up to. Twelve. Yea, and all that shall live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Christ says they're going to deceive you. But continue thou in the thing which thou have learned and had been assured of, knowing of whom ye have learned them, and that from a child thou have known the holy scriptures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have for that Misa. Uh, Don, what about this? I tell you what the scriptures say. Oh, I, I ain't talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I mean, one time a man asked me, he, he did now, uh, his name, I, I, they, they call him Baby Jones. He did now one time, he had me say, hey, Robin, I, what can I do to stop drinking? I'm, I'm trying to stop drinking. What can I do? I say, Jesus Christ. Oh, I, 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 no, I ain't talking about that. I ain't talking about that. You want the truth, don't you? I guess he won't want me to tell him to go to AA or something. AA or something. Or choose some gum or something. Then from a child thou have known the Holy Scripture, which is able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Jesus Christ. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable. And is relevant for doctrine, reprove, yeah, Christ will change your ways. Correction, yeah, Christ correct you. And instruction in righteousness show you how to live righteous. All scripture. Something in my favorite scripture. Oh, someone asked me one time, what's your favorite scripture? I said, all of it. All of it. <laughs> all scripture. My God, all scripture. Men don't want the scripture. They want to sit up and debate and have a conference and a seminar and a uh, symposium on different things. They don't want the scripture. We can cut. We can Here's the conclusion of the whole matter, right here, right here. The answer to all the trouble in the world today, the answer is Christ. It's Christ. That's the answer, Christ. Who can stop all the murder? Christ. If the murderer come to Christ, he won't murder no more. The one who carjack your car last night. They won't do it no more. The answer is Christ. Clown and cutting up in the school. My God, if they if they if they hear the gobble and believe the gobble, they'll stop clowning and cutting up in school. They'll get their lesson. Yeah, if the false prophet uh, uh, hear Christ and believe Christ and follow Christ, he won't preach not one more fault. He won't tell not one more lie in the pulpit. He won't point nobody to the church of God and Christ and no other church. He'll point people to Christ at the revival last week. Brother would preach it in. He got the name in false prophet. He's a uh, 
You say Jesus on the way. He say, he say, he mentioned Joseph Prince. He mentioned Joel Osteen. Say that's not the way. And I hollered out. I said, Church of God in Christ is not the way either. <laughs> but Jesus is the way. I say Jesus is the way. Not your church, not my church, but Jesus is the way. I can't tell you the law was talking. I want a mega church. No, you won't be a false prophet. That was wrong. A mega church. Look at the folk that you overseeing now. What about them? Now, 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 I will say this. You got, you got out. I, I, I know folk have a TV broadcast and they talking on the broadcast and on the radio just like they talking to the congregation. They not reaching out enough. They not reaching out enough. Outreach. Outreach. Outreach for lost souls. Yeah, yeah. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Let them know the gospel is for you. You, you that watching me. You that listen to me on radio. Where are you going to spend eternity? You need to be saved. Jesus Christ is a healer. Jesus Christ cast out devil. Jesus Christ is a deliverer. Outreach. Re reach out. Forget about all this. Episcopal and ecclesiastical and The church is real. Jesus said, and it have not changed. And the, the relevance said, or the purpose of Jesus Christ is to save your soul from damnation. It's not, it's not, it's the purpose of the church is not for you, you to come to church and feel good. The, the thing that I was, I was, I was, I was, as I was doing research for this, I went on social media. They said, "Well, you need to need to put put more worship in, put more worship in the church, more worship music in the church. Music ain't worship. That's just a portion. Worship is your life, how you live, day by day." Worship is who you serve. Day by day, God is a spirit. They that must worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Lift up your hands, sing a slow song, and all this stuff. And I'm going to put a praise on that. Sing Jason Nelson. You can't steal. You can't steal my praise. You can't steal my what? The devil ain't studying nothing about your praise. He wants your soul. He wants to steal your soul from God. Can't steal your praise. Can you steal your soul? Can you steal your, 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 your righteous life that you live in? Can he steal that? Have he stole that? The church always been ready. The same thing. Uh, was it. Are you tired of the same? The church here in Memphis. Are you tired of the same old, the same old sermon, the same old watered down? That's the problem right there. That's the problem. You look to be entertained. You look to be entertained. The church is not for your. Very pleasure, your entertainment. 
Church ain't for that. Church is to get you ready to go back with Jesus when he comes. Huh? Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. Woo! Oh no, two o'clock. Ten minutes two. <laughs> Church is ready. Love a lot of hell. Church growth seminars. What's that? How to grow a church. That's false doctrine. That's of the devil. Jesus never tell you to grow no church. Jesus is already built. He didn't tell you to grow no church. How to, how to add membership to your church. How to increase church membership. What they got to do with the gospel. Most of the members in church ain't saved no way. They on the way to hell in church. How about, how about repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand? How about that? And how about you will not enter the kingdom of heaven, yet they they in our church. But Corinthians 6 and 9, be not deceived. You uh, fornicated idolatry and all this stuff. You will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Though you in our building and packing us out, we gotta build bigger build, building. <laughs> you ain't gonna inherit the kingdom of heaven. The church is ready. It's still ready. How they create finances in the church? Finance seminar. If here the finance, here the finance seminar. Uh, pastor, stop taking all the money. That's a finance seminar for you. <laughs> all kind of mess that have nothing to do with the word of God. The church is still relevant. Let me say it right now. And y'all need to stop lying and saying the church ain't doing nothing. You are a liar. You are a liar. I can show you many, many people in my location and even in your location that doing things in the community. So stop that lie. There ain't no but devil no way. It's the church fault. Why all this killing going on? It's the church fault. You a lying one. You a lie. You a lie. Why all this stuff going on? Anyway? It's the church fault. You a lie. I told somebody, the church have the answer. But you don't want the answer. You don't, uh, 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 you don't want no script. They hate scripts. You, you don't want the answer. You don't want script. You don't want it. The church have the answer. It's a church on every corner. A church on every... It, it, need, to be, it, it, it need to be a church in every yard. <laughs> need to be more. On more corners. And if you obey the scripture that the church... I thought God church. I ain't talking about these false prophets. I thought God true church. If you obey what they told you, you wouldn't have the trouble. But you ain't obeying. That, you, ain't, you, you ain't obeying. You ain't obeying the word. The church is relevant. Always have been relevant. And the purpose is to save your soul. You was in the street once. You was in the club once. Some of y'all was on the pole once. Some of y'all, the, 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 church is, the church is full of it's everything. Ex-sisters, ex-lesbians, ex-holes, ex-prostitutes, ex-child molesters, ex-rapists, ex-drug addicts, ex-liars, ex-murderers, 
ex thieves, ex backstabber, ex backbiter, ex false prophets, ex witches. The church is full of sit, sit, sit down and tell, tell us a bit of your story. See what they'll be shocked. Church is full of ex everything. We were, we, we were once in sin. Every, every now and then, I tell, tell somebody my stuff, my story, some of the stuff I did. And they can't believe it. I ain't been saved all my life. I, I see him then. And I enjoyed it too, honey. I enjoyed it. Ain't no players out there in the world. You a lie. You a lie. You a lie. It is players. You feel good too. I had my phone. <coughs> Let me get off it. The church is still relevant today. The church is still relevant today. You got to know the purpose. The purpose is to save your soul. To get you ready to go back with Jesus when he comes. And I taught Jesus church. I ain't taught your church. Jesus church. And Jesus church is not the church of God in Christ. Baptist, Methodist, no other church. Because in order to join them churches, your name got to be wrote on the roll. I know they sang the song. You can't join it. You got to be body. And they join it every Sunday. I don't understand what they mean, but they join it every Sunday. And you make a pill for them to join. You want to be saved? You want to be healed? You want prayer? You want to make this your church home? The church is still relevant today. Many they don't want the scripture. Well, how you do this? Here it is. Here it is. Right here. Here's how, here. here it is right here. Well, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you listen to a false prophet lie to you and don't call the pad, and you put that monkey on the air and preach it back. False prophet tell you lies. Tell you to sow a seed and prophesy to you and say something gonna happen, and it don't happen, and you blame the whole church. Church hurt. Nope. I understand church hurt. Our church hurt. Jesus didn't hurt you. Jesus did not hurt you. Jesus didn't do that. I don't care what you said. Jesus didn't hurt you. We did that. Jesus didn't do it. And Jesus people didn't do it. And if they did do it and you tell them about it, they gonna they gonna tell you to forgive me. They're gonna say, forgive me. I was on the way. Or whatever, even if I would or whatever. Forgive me. Give it, give it. That, 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 that's why God got David. He said, You have gave the heathen by what you did with Bathsheba and Uriah. You have gave the heathen an occasion to blaspheme my name. Now God is holy. David, God king. They probably be holy. And look at what David did. In the heathen talking against the church. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why when you backslid and went out of the world, everybody knew you was out in the world, and you did your stuff, when you come back to the church, that we really tell you to, okay, repent to the church for bringing a bad name on the church. You did that. The church didn't do that. That's good. The church is still relevant. The relevancy 
And the purpose of the church is to save your soul, get you ready to go back with Jesus when he comes. And that's why I don't preach church at all. I don't preach church. I preach no church. What about church God Christ? Is you crazy? All that mess going on in church God Christ? What about apostolic faith? You out your rabbit mind. What about Baptist? You crazy. They not the way. Jesus is the way. Let me help you. You ain't the way either. And I'm not the way either. Jesus is the way. Psalm say, the only Bible anybody going to read is you. You's a lie. No, no. People see your life and they ask you concerning your life. If you don't give them the scripture, you don't tell them it's Jesus, you ain't letting your life shine. No, no, read you. You ain't, no, okay, we can't read you. We can't follow you. Well, look at my life. No, no. Look at this. You ain't Jesus and I'm not Jesus. Look at this. Yes, I'm living all I know how, but look at this. The reason I'm living all I know how is because of this. Because I follow the scripture. Because I follow Jesus. That's enough. The church is relevant. All right, that's enough. God bless.